So I'm finally at a point where I feel like I'm pretty much finished with the studio, at least until I move out in a few months. So I figured I'd give you guys one last studio tour before I leave. Starting over on this side and we'll work our way over to the setup. So first things first, I have this plant right here, which I got from Ikea. If I turn on my camera light, you can see it a little bit better there. I have it sitting behind this couch, so you can't really see the pot or anything, but I think it just kind of adds a nice like compliment to this space. And especially on my stream, which I'll have my editor throw up a, uh, a little recording of my VOD right here. If I push this every five subs? I think not. I think I should do five minutes twerk session every five. I just think purple is a really nice like vibey color, especially for my streams. Right here, I have my M1 MacBook Pro. This is from 2020, I believe. I have a few stickers on it. Um, I have a copyright one from Elliot Choi, a couple of Jujutsu Kaisen stickers that I got from Amazon, and then a Kilo sticker, which is also from Amazon. I actually am gonna need to get a new MacBook soon because this one can't handle the 4K footage from my camera, so, um, Guess I'll be selling that soon. Over here on this side table, I have a small plant. This plant is actually real. That one was fake, but this one is real. Turn on my camera light again. You can see it a little bit better. I have it sitting next to these windows because during the day, these windows get a lot of light. So that's probably the best spot for that since it's, like I said, a real plant. And then I have my glasses right here because when I do edit, or I guess when I used to edit my older footage that I could handle on this MacBook, I would wear my glasses because I can't really see very well without my glasses, but I don't ever really wear them. I just kind of live life on 720p. This couch is my most recent pickup in this whole studio and I actually got this couch from a brand called Costway. And right before we move over onto the gaming setup, let me tell you guys about Costway because they are the sponsor of today's video. This couch is like a nice beige color. Um, again, if I turn on my light, you can see it better. And when I move into my new apartment in a few months, I think this is gonna be a really nice piece for the living room. But for now, it just kind of sits here and fits in the back of my studio. Anyway, moving over to the gaming and streaming setup. This is where all the magic happens. I guess I'll start with my PC since these are the most expensive things on this desk. If you guys wanna know the full specs, you can go over to my Twitch channel and then go to the chat and type in exclamation point PC. And this is gonna give you two links, one for the main PC and one for the streaming PC. And this will have the full PC part picker link for the gaming PC right there and the streaming PC right there. Neither of these are like super insanely high tier, like $5,000, $6,000, but this one is pretty heavily customized. So the total actually comes out to a little bit over what it says on that list. I got this 3070 off of a Best Buy drop like a while ago when they were kind of rare and hard to get. So I'm pretty proud of that achievement. And I have this like custom backplate on it. And then I have these two Kilo Funko Pops, which are both from Amazon. One of them is Kilua in Godspeed, and then the other one is just like a normal Kilua. Then over in the streaming PC, I have the same GIF. This one is a little bit less like crazy, not as much RGB, not as much like customization. I got this whole PC hooked up for free from Micro Center, so if you guys wanna go check out Micro Center, of course, they're the number one spot for PC tech. Moving on, up here I have a lot of Nanoleafs. Nanoleaf actually used to sponsor my TikTok, so I got a lot of Nanoleafs. As you can tell, I use these for stream lighting. So when I do stream, I change them to like a nice warm color and they'll light up the other side of my face, which this stream light doesn't cover. Um, but overall, when I'm not streaming, they just add a nice like vibe to the room and have a nice like lighting ambiance. I have them a little bit darker right now so you can see them on camera. But when I turn them to full brightness, they kind of light up this wall right here. Moving on, let's talk about the actual desk. So I got this whole desk from Ikea. I have two Ikea Alex drawers on both sides. And then I have this big Ikea Carlby, I believe is what the desktop is called. This is actually a countertop, so it's very heavy and very thick, very, very high quality. And this is by far my favorite like desktop I've ever had. I have the 98 inch version, which is massive. This is way more desk space than anyone should ever need, um, especially if you're just like me and you do, you know, streaming. But I love the like very large look of it and how it fills up like this whole section of the wall here. The desk goes just about to where the staircase ends, so it kind of just fits really well in this space. And the reason I upgraded this desk was actually so that I could fit both PCs and still have my monitors in the middle. So it's very unnecessary, but you know, all of this is unnecessary. Speaking of unnecessary, this is a thousand dollar chair and I can't really recommend it because I can't tell you to spend a thousand dollars on a chair, but it is a pretty solid chair. This is the Mavix M9 in white. I've had this chair for, I think a little over a year at this point. It's really good. It still looks like relatively new, still works perfectly fine. It's just, it's hard for me to tell you to go spend a thousand dollars on a chair because I don't think that a chair can be worth that. Moving on to this face lighting, this is an Elgato key light, um, my main face lighting, and I have it hooked up to my Elgato stream deck right here. So I can just turn it on and off with a button press. Oh yeah, this is the high ground base camp keyboard right here. 
as well as uh, it's an NZXT mouse. I don't know what mouse exactly. Both of those are hooked up to the streaming PC. So this is how I function like with OBS and Discord and stuff up there. And then for my main keyboard and mouse, this is the High Ground Jujutsu Kaisen keyboard drop. This actually dropped pretty recently and they completely sold out. So you can't get this anymore. I have a lot of High Ground boards. They're by far my favorite keyboard brand for pre-built keyboards. The funny thing is I actually have probably like seven, eight hundred dollars worth of custom keyboards in this drawer, and I still use these high ground boards. That's how good they are. I'm not sponsored, they're not paying me. I just actually really love these keyboards. I mean, look at it. If you've watched Jujutsu Kaisen, you know how cool this is. Moving on to the mouse, and this mouse is actually dying, but this is the G Pro Super Light, and then I have these custom grip tapes and custom um, mouse feet on the bottom. If you want the exact links to the full setup that I have, uh, it'll be linked in my Twitch chat. For stream audio, I have the Shure SM7B on the Blue Compass boom arm. Basically every like streamer has this setup. It's really, really basic, but it's still just kind of is the staple. It's really good. It's basic for a reason, you know? And I have it hooked up to this GoXLR. Again, very basic, but that's because it does its job and it does it very well. All of my audio from both of my PCs is hooked up to that GoXLR right there. If anyone was curious, this is my mic for stream. This is Discord, this is music, and this is um, game, system sounds, all that kind of stuff. Right here, I have my Xbox Elite controller with a control freak right here, and then a couple paddles on the back for or if I ever do play controller. I got that like four or five years ago, probably even six at this point when I used to play Xbox at my old house. So when I moved over to PC, I just kind of had this already. I wouldn't have bought that at this point because I don't play controller enough to justify having that. But it's really solid and it still works perfectly even though it's that old. For my monitors, I have an Alienware 240 hertz, one millisecond response time, IPS panel monitor right there. Still just kind of one of these staples of monitors. This used to be like the monitor for professional play. Nowadays there's 360 hertz and 480 hertz, but 240 is still fine for me. Above that I have an ultra wide. It's kind of a smaller ultra wide. It's not that much bigger than a normal monitor. I think it's like 34 inches, 31 inches maybe. I've previously had three monitors and even four monitors. And I think I had five at one point when I used a portable portable monitor, but this is by far my favorite monitor setup with just two. The bottom one is my main PC and the top one is my streaming PC, by the way. This is the most minimal and just kind of clean look that I've ever done, and it's by far my favorite. You'd think that I would like the overkill, like several monitors, and it is it is functional, but it just kind of looks too cluttered. It makes me feel like I'm in a TIE fighter, like it makes me feel cramped. So I like this open look where both of my sides are completely open. Anyway, moving on, I have a couple fake plants right here. Let me turn on my light. Both of these are fake, and I just kind of have them there to add some uh, some natural vibes to the setup. I have some snacks, um, a couple drinks, some water right here. My headsets are the Arctis Nova Pro Wirelesses. By far the best headset on the market. I will stand by this. There has never been a better gaming headset. And if you think the DT990s are better, they're not. I promise. This clock right here, I get a ton of questions about this specific clock. It doesn't flicker in real life, by the way. If you just go to Amazon and search wooden alarm clock, it'll be the first result. So that's there. For the mouse pad, this is actually my mouse pad. More specifically, one of my friends, Gutsy Aiden, he owns a mouse pad business and we did a collaboration. So this is like my mouse pad line with his company. So if you guys want to pick one of these up, it'll directly support me as well as another creator that's really great. There's three colors of this. So if you want to cop those, just go to gutsyaiden.com. And with that, I think I have covered everything in the streaming gaming setup and the more like studio area. So I think that'll do it. I don't see myself making any upgrades or changes before I move out because it's only gonna be a few months. So I don't really feel like changing anything before I move out. I'll just build a new setup when I move. So yeah, this is kind of the ending point. This is the final setup that this house will ever see. If you guys have followed me for a while, you know I've done setup tours for like two years now because I'm constantly changing and upgrading my setup. So every few months I'd throw up a new setup tour. But yeah, this is the final one. I'm pretty happy with it. It's definitely not the most functional setup that I've ever had, especially with like the two monitors and the really big desk, but it's my favorite and I like the feel of it a lot more than any other setup I've ever made. So yeah, if you guys wanna stop by the Twitch streams and see the whole like studio in action, uh, you know where to find the link. Yeah, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, if you guys wanna stay up to date with the moving out process, be sure to drop a sub. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.